Hi everyone, this lesson is on the halo effect. So the halo effect is a cognitive bias or a psychological effect involving assumptions regarding person, place, or thing based on early interactions or what we would call first impressions or obvious overt physical characteristics. Now this cognitive bias is very common. It's observed in everyday life and a lot of us don't even realize that it is occurring. So as I mentioned before, it's going to be assumptions regarding a person, place, or thing, but more specifically, it's going to be assumptions regarding a person, a group, a company, or a brand, a product, or a country. So what can be noted is that there may be small bits of information that are presented at first to you about a particular group or company or a country that are positive in nature. And what can happen is that this can change the way you may actually make assumptions about that particular thing. So more specifically, the halo effect is going to be where one characteristic or a limited number of characteristics leads to assumptions on other unrelated characteristics. That's going to be more specific as to what the halo effect is. Now the halo effect is again, the cognitive bias whereby certain characteristics that are presented to the person will then subsequently lead that person to have other further assumptions based on that limited number of characteristics. But if these characteristics and the other assumptions that are made are positive, this can be termed the halo effect. This is more specific to positive characteristics. But if it is negative characteristics leading to further negative assumptions or an overall negative judgment, we may use the term horn effect. So the halo effect and the horn effect are simply the same phenomenon occurring, but one is positive, the other one's negative. So although the term halo effect can be used for both positive and negative characteristics and positive and negative overall judgments and assumptions, in some cases we can see the term horn effect being used if it is going to be negative characteristics leading to further negative assumptions. So I do want to mention the difference here as well. So how does the halo effect actually occur? So what will happen is that when you are going through your day-to-day -day life, you will be presented with certain information. So for instance, if you were to meet someone for the first time, there is a first impression or an early interaction. So the person that you are interacting with for the first time has certain physical characteristics. They have physical looks or their clothing. They have personality characteristics, so they can be friendly or unfriendly, kind or unkind, funny or awkward. And if it is a brand or a company, they may have certain characteristics that they present to society, like them being charitable or responsible. So if you have these first impressions or first interactions, they can lead you to extrapolate further assumptions about them or about the company or brand. So this can lead to an overall judgment of that person or company or brand or country, for instance. So again, as I mentioned before, if it is a positive overall attribution, so you start to make more assumptions that are positive about that particular person, place, or thing, that is the halo effect. So again, the halo effect is believing that the person, place, or thing has more positive attributes than you actually know that they actually have. You're just making the assumption that they have them. If it is a negative overall attribution, that's a horn effect. So you believe the person, place, or thing has more negative attributes. Let's look at a couple examples to solidify this better. So if you were presented with somebody for the first time, physical attractiveness is one of them. They can be someone that's beautiful or handsome. And if you see that person, you will start to have particular biases toward thinking more positively about that person. If you know nothing about them at all, you simply just see them and their physical characteristics. So if that person is physically attractive and you know nothing about them at all, you can often make assumptions that they are going to be more honest and trustworthy, that they're more intelligent, and that they're more confident than you actually know that they truly are. And this is what I would term attribute extrapolation. You're seeing one positive thing and you're extrapolating other positive attributes to this person that you don't know that is actually the case for that particular person. This would be the halo effect. So this is one example of the halo effect. Another would be to have a friendly interaction with somebody. So if you've had an early interaction with somebody and they're very friendly and that's all you know about them and you don't see them again and you were to go away, you would have certain thoughts about that person that you may think that they're more positive in other aspects of life, including they're more generous. So you may think they're more generous even though you don't know that they're generous or not. And you may also think that they're more diligent than they are, even though you don't know if they are or not. Again, that's attribute extrapolation. So I do want to talk about this psychological effect because it's very important when we see certain companies or brands 
we can often have a positive feeling for them. This can lead to us believing that they are better in other aspects of reality that we don't know about. We're just making the assumption that they are. And this effect can occur with politicians as well. If a politician is physically attractive or they are friendly or they come across confident, if they're positive, if they have positive attributes that are seen, the person that sees them can make other assumptions about other attributes that that person might have. They're more likely to say that that person has other attributes that are positive as well. And on the flip side, if the person is unfriendly or if they're not confident, so if people see those negative attributes about that particular politician, for instance, they're more likely to believe other aspects of that politician's life are negative as well. So that is the halo effect. And with regards to the negative part of this, we can call this the horn effect. So I hope you found this lesson interesting and helpful. If you did, please like subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching and hope to see you next time.